hello guys welcome back to you learn and this is my third video on assembly language programming on emulator 8086 okay in my first two videos i have uh, shown you how to print a single character and in my uh, second video i have shown you that how to print uh, to give an input and then print the input now i'm going to show you how to print hello world as uh, we program we are coders we are programmers we our first uh, code is printing is hello world code is printing hello world uh, no matter that is that being C, C++, Java, C Sharp, .NET, PHP, anything. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, I have shown in shown in my earlier videos uh, that uh, uh, we have to write this dot modus form and dot stack dot code pin prop and we have to end the program by writing this uh, move h comma four ch into interrupt into one h main int p and uh, <coughs> in main. Okay, we have to write the code in between. So as we want to print hello world, we have to uh, we uh, and we are doing it uh, without strings. So I will show you in my later uh, tutorials uh, how to print uh, a line or print uh, several words by using strings. So we are not uh, doing it by strings. We are doing uh, we are printing hello world by printing single characters. Okay, to do so we have to write move a, as usual. We have to write uh, move h. Mm -hmm. okay. Then move tl uh, hello world okay in inverted comma we have to write uh, h interrupt into one h okay so c is the first it will definitely work let's check it we can just go to h we have print it then we have to <coughs> press uh, the other letters okay the next letter is we can do it now again we don't have to write move h comma two uh, <coughs> several times. Uh, we can write once, and we have then we can write then move dl comma e. We must write uh, after move uh, dl comma e or move if we write uh, move h or dl anything uh, in the next time we must write interrupt into one h or this will this function will not call call that one. And it will not uh, <coughs> system will not uh, recognize our uh, code, and it will not work as we want to want it to work properly. Okay, so then we not this. Oh, uh, sorry, it should be in bracket as its character. The system will recognize only by its uh, ASCII values. Okay, then move dl comma l. Okay, here is the fun part that uh, in my first video I have shown you that if we uh, call interrupt 21h uh, more than one, then it will print the character uh, more than one. That means uh, how many times I write uh, interrupt 21h and <coughs> system will print that character that times. Okay, if I again call as it is, there are two L's hello, so I have to write interrupt 21h again. Okay. Okay, let's see. Just we are taking baby baby steps for our <coughs> for making it easy to understand. Okay, yes, we have. See, we have uh, written interrupt into us two times, and system has shown us this. Oh, it's not how we. This should be hello. Okay, then the next word should be. Oh. Yes, I hope you guys getting it for trying to show you. Then okay, here is the fun part that <coughs> between okay and let, let us first make this then okay. I have written hello. So how can we uh, make it uh, okay hello and then after hello world okay between hello and world there should be a space. Okay, how can we do that? Simple. It's just a trick that for a blank for a space we can use a blank character okay or null character what is the null character okay show you it's a null or zero yeah, null character it's a null okay. null character yes ASCII it, uh, it has null character as also an ASCII value let, let me show you okay first write it let me show you that okay ASCII value ASCII goes okay zero 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 we can see this is zero zero is a null uh, zero is null. You can also do one thing that um, 
instead of this you can write zero system will uh, <coughs> recognize as, as as a null character okay, okay let's see just paste it okay let's see let's print world let us print a little bit w I know, friends, it will take a long. I'm just uh, typing it. I for your for making it easy to understand. But you can <coughs> just copy paste it and just uh, replace those words. Okay. Else, not this. Else, interrupt. One eight again. I know the simple language is a bit lengthy, but it's easy. It's not a big deal. Finally, D. Okay. One eight. Okay. Let's simulate it. This we can run this code. Yes, we have learned successfully done. Hello world. Congratulations, guys. Okay, okay. Just I want to uh, tell you one thing that uh, we have written here. Uh, we have written in this code that uh, where this null 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 character. So zero. If we write zero, I have shown you in, in that ASCII table that zero has the value of a null character. Uh, zero is assigned is assigned to a null character. Okay, and we can also write this null character. We can print this in this way. It's not a big deal. Pretty much easy. It's up to you, your wish. Hello world. Hello world. Okay, thank you very much. If uh, if you guys like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe it, and please do share it. Thank you very much. That's all for today. In my next video, I will come with <coughs> I'll come with more of this. Thank you very much.